The polymyxins are another class of naturally produced antibiotic, which were isolated from Panibacillus polymyxa in 1947, the height of the golden era of antimicrobial discovery. Polymyxin-type antimicrobials act on the outer membrane of the gram-negative cell. These drugs are cyclic lipopeptides, which act on the phosphatidylethanolamine-rich outer membrane, causing destabilization, increased permeability, changes in ion homeostasis, and ultimately cell death. Polymyxin also have the ability to neutralize endotoxin, or the lipopolysaccharide, LPS, which is found in that cell membrane. Because the polymyxins act on that outer cell membrane, they are only active against gram-negative bacteria. Um, Gram-positives, which lack this membrane, are therefore intrinsically resistant, as are many anaerobes, which lack an LPS-containing membrane. While they act only on gram-negatives, not all gram-negatives can be killed with polymyxin-type drugs. So some bacteria, including members of the Enterobacteriales order, Edward's yellow species, Morganella morganae, Proteus, Providentia, and Serratia species are all intrinsically resistant, as are some of our non-fermentative gram-negative rods, such as the Burkholderia capetia complex, Elizabeth kinga meningosepticum, and Chrysiobacterium species. So while these are very useful drugs, they're certainly not a gram-negative panacea. Polymyxin B and colistin have historically been used more topically than systemically. You may recognize polymyxin B as a component of triple antibiotic ointment when combined with bacitracin and neomycin. Um, the reason that their systemic use was limited was over concerns of nephrotoxicity or damage to the kidneys. These drugs have a very narrow therapeutic index, which means that the amount of drug that needs to be administered to have an antibacterial effect is not much less than the amount of drug which causes toxicities. Unfortunately, as we've seen the emergence of gram-negative bacteria, uh, which are multi-drug resistant or nearly pan-resistant, physicians have had to increasingly turn to using polymyxin-type drugs systemically um, for treating gram-negative sepsis or bacteremia with an otherwise resistant organism. Resistance to the polymyxins has historically been considered the result of chromosomal mutations. And so in 2016, when plasmid-mediated polymyxin resistance was first identified, this was a really shocking finding. The MCR1 gene, or mobile colistin resistance 1, uh, proved to be globally quite prevalent. It was uh, first identified in China, but then found in countries all over the world and has really facilitated the rapid both emergence and broad dissemination of polymyxin resistance among gram-negatives, further adding to the crisis that we face um, in antimicrobial resistance. I hope this description of the polymyxins was useful, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Mm -hmm.